Well, hello again. Today is April 9th and we are in the book, in the New Testament, book of Luke, chapter 9, verses 37 through 62. And here we read, On the next day when they came down from the mountain, a large crowd met him, and a man from the crowd shouted, saying, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son, for he is my only boy. And the spirit seizes him. And he suddenly screams and it throws him into a convulsion with foaming at the mouth and only with difficulty does it leave him, mauling him as it leaves. I begged your disciples to cast it out and they could not. And Jesus answered and said, you unbelieving and perverted generation, how long shall I be with you and put up with you? Bring your son here while he was. So he obviously was uh more more likely referring to his disciples because they were not uh, in full faith because because they should have been able to uh, remove that spirit. So, you know, again, verse 42, uh, he tells him, he says, while he was still approaching, the demon slammed him to the ground and threw him into a convulsion. But Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and healed the boy and gave him back to his father. And they were all amazed at the greatness of God. But while everyone was marveling at all that he was doing, he said to his disciples, let these words sing into your ears for the son of man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. But they did not understand the statement and it was concealed from them so that they would not perceive it. And they were afraid to ask him about this statement. An argument started among them as to which of them might be the greatest. But Jesus, knowing that they were thinking in their hearts, took a child and stood by him, stood him by his side and said to them, whoever receives this child in my name receives me and whoever receives me receives him who sent me for the one who is least among you, least among all of you. This is the one who is great. So that's in a sense, you know, uh, when you when you when you want to be the greatest among them all, you're 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 focused on the power and and actually maybe people serving you. And Christ is saying the opposite of that and saying the least will be the greatest. So. Though the one who is more humble and more of a servant to the others is actually the greatest. And that's what we should keep in mind instead of seeking these the power and authority and that pride that we seek in our daily lives. We need to be humble and servants to others. Even though God may bless us, we still need to utilize ourselves to serve others and, and lift others up in a sense. Uh, continuing on with verse 49, John answered and said, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow along with us. But Jesus said to him, do not hinder him. For he is not against you, for he who is not against you is for you. When the days were approaching for his ascension, he was determined to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers on ahead of him, and they went and entered a village of the Samaritans to make arrangements for him. But they did not receive him because he was traveling toward Jerusalem. When his disciples, James, and John saw this. They said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them and said, you do not know what kind of spirit you are of. For the son of man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went on to another village. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. And he said to another, follow me. But he said, Lord, permit me first to go and bury my father. And he said to him, allow the dead to bury their own dead. But as for you, go to the go and proclaim everyone everywhere the kingdom of God. Another also said, I will follow you. Lord, but first permit me to go to say goodbye to those at home. But Jesus said to him, no one after putting his hand to the plow and looking back 
is fit for the kingdom of God. So that's pretty, pretty strong and, and very powerful because, you know, in a sense, in, in, in our, the way we think we would want to uh, go tell maybe our parents goodbye, but um, sy- symbolically, it's really about, you know, hey, when you choose God, you don't look back to your old ways, the old man, the old lifestyle. You move forward in pursuit of the kingdom for your lives and the spreading of the word of the kingdom to others. So anyway, as the end of April 9th, thank you. God bless. Hope to see you soon.